So, uh, I guess to, you know, kind of help bridge us out of the whole Dash event, we've got this, uh, this Hellion Lua's special event thing going on, which is kind of like a, a, a less generous but still very nice Dash event, right? It's still extra logins, free stuff, right? So, you get your seven-day login, of course, you always want to pick that up. But the big thing is this exchange and using this currency in the exchange. And this shop is going to refresh every week. So don't think it's like, oh, you only get this much currency to spend. So you've really got to make some hard choices here. We'll get into the choices in just a minute. But this, this is going to refresh every week and you'll be able to get more points again. Now, how do you get the points? Well, you can get the points by clearing adventure. You get 10 points, spirit altar 15, hunt 20. So that's a good way to get points. Um, it was pointed out to me that you can kind of cheat the system a little bit if you want to save stamina and just get all these points done quickly. You can go into the adventure and you just want to go into any of the first three continents, Rengar, Azera, or Savara. You go into Savara, you look for friendship stages, which as we pointed out before, friendship stages are easy to identify by the Orbis International sign of friendship, hand holding a severed foot. So you find a stage where you've got a hand holding a severed foot and you go to those stages. And the reason you wanna do these stages is they only cost two stamina instead of eight. So yeah, you could farm unrecorded history and get your gold and your, your um, AP, you could farm uh, hunts and get your gear and all that kind of stuff you uh, but you could do this and you can get 40 of the coins for the cost of Same stamina cost that gets you 10 coins So I can get 40 currency for the same stamina that any other stage costs And that's a pretty good way to save stamina if you're low on stamina you do your daily hunts You do your daily stuff you get all your normal stuff taken care of then you can just farm this. But otherwise, you can just go and do your regular events and you'll get the currency needed to purchase. You'll get the currency you needed to purchase things in this shop. Now, what in this shop is worth getting? And the reason I say what's worth getting, you will have plenty of time to buy the entire shop out. But you notice at the end, there's unlimited gold and unlimited stamina. So I guess the big question is, is anything in here worth not getting where 50 stamina for 50 currency is a better value? And the answer to that, in my opinion, is hell yes. I mean, a lot depends on where you are in the game, but some of it is clearly better. So Molagora is like the most limited artifact or, or limited resource in the game. Just about everybody needs Molagora. People that are like, oh, I got several hundred Molagora. I'm fine. Go build your units. What's wrong with you? Spend that currency. Um... This is arguable. If you are relatively new, this is your chance for an ML4 or ML5. This could also be Elson, right? This is one Galaxy Summon for 700 currency. That's 700 stamina. So, is a shot at an ML5 or... A sh or a potential of an Elson worth 700 stamina to you or not. You can farm a lot with 700 stamina, but I still think you get it. It is hard to pass up a shot at an ML5 or an ML4, especially if you're relatively new in the game. But you got to make that decision. If you have every unit in the game, and at best it's just going to be an imprint for you, I would skip it. I will probably skip it because I'm going to want the stamina, but I don't know. I may just get it and save it up for the next ML5 that comes out, and fingers crossed, maybe the 0.004% chance that I get the ML5 I'm looking for happens. Same can be said for gold transmit stones, because let's be real, the only thing these are used for is to buy these. Now, there's one additional usage, right? Like, say you're getting Zeo from the headhunt event or you're picking up your Bellion, etc. You can use these to buy imprints for uh, floor boss ML5s. Be aware, though, only once per floor boss. If you've already got a Zeo and you plan to get a second Zeo from the headhunt event, you cannot use gold transmit stones to imprint that Zeo. There's no way to imprint that Zeo other than dupe Zeos and unknown slates. 
So make sure you're aware of that. You can only use gold transmit stones to buy enough imprints to max out one floor boss. Any dupes, you're on your own for that with slates. Four to five star artifact ticket. Chances are it's going to be a four star, right? It's a pretty low chance, but it's got a chance of being a five star. But even at a four star, selling that for powder, powder is so valuable. I would put that above the stamina. So, and bookmarks, I mean, it's bookmarks. You could get a hundred stamina and use that to farm and also get bookmarks. You might get a bookmark drop along with it, but I, I still think you buy the bookmarks. I mean, especially with new units coming out. No brainer. This one is one that if you are late game, I think you skip. I think a four to five star summon ticket, it's what, a 15% chance to be a five star and an 85% chance to be a four star. You literally have to get 15% to get a five star. If you've got every unit in the game, this is... um. 500 stamina. I would take 500 stamina over another four star, but if you're relatively new in the game, I think this is pretty good value. If you're new in the game and there's lots of four stars and five stars you don't have, go for it. If you've got all the five stars in the game, all the four stars in the game, I would hard pass on this because it's at best just an imprint. So, so far on the first page, definitely, oops, definitely get the Mola. Definitely get the artifact charm. Definitely get the bookmarks. Maybe decide whether or not you want to pass on the ML stuff. I I don't know. I think I will get it just because there's still a chance. <laughs> I'm a gambler, right? But uh, I think unless you are unless once you have every unit in the game, I think you pass on the uh, four to five star book. I don't think it's worth the stamina once you've got all the units in the game. If you don't have, if, you, if you're missing a good chunk of units, go ahead and take your shot at it, especially if you're missing four stars. Maybe you weren't here for the dash event and you somehow don't have every four star in the game yet. This is for you. Once you've got all the four stars in the game, I think you skip that one. Now let's move over here to the, um, to the upgrade section, free on equip. How much gold you got? I don't know about you, but these things... Oh, and remember, once you buy this thing, it's going to go into your mailbox and start ticking down on the time. So make sure if you buy this, you realize that the middle of the month and the end of the month this month, we get free on equip. So make sure that you can slot this into a place you're going to use it. Make sure you'll get some use out of this. Otherwise, don't buy this and then just have it burn out in your inbox and you totally could have gotten 200 stamina out of it. These right here, if you are farming unrecorded history, these have zero value whatsoever. You don't get these at all because you've gotten your AP from unrecorded history. And you have all the catalysts you could ever want. I am definitely not wasting my money on these because I farm the hell out of unrecorded history. But if you haven't farmed unrecorded history, I think... The stamina that you could get, you could farm unrecorded history enough to get the benefit of these boxes, and you'll get gold. So even if you don't have any catalyst or any AP, you still don't get these. You get the stamina, and you use the stamina to farm unrecorded history, and you get the AP that you need to buy the catalysts that you need. I think these are overpriced for what they are. My two cents. Um, same thing with spirit blooms. You farm unrecorded history, or you farm eulogy for a saint and you get the stigma that you need to buy the spirit blooms and you'll also get gold ap and charms you double dip because remember th though this is just a one and done shop you don't have to farm anything while you're farming for these you're getting the stigma to buy these you're getting gold on top of it the farms are so strong that I think the three of these are a huge scam. So I would not recommend getting any of these other than the unequipped scroll if you have a need. And I recommend you don't buy this until the day that you have a need. I will probably buy this when Hall of Trials drops so that I can just use it and get it out of the way. But you get one of these for free from the check-in event and the middle of the week, the middle weekend of the month and the end weekend of the month, we are also getting free unequipped from Smilegate. So make sure that you can slot this into a place that you use it. The leafs are worth getting. It's 50 stamina or 50 for two leafs. 
which is roughly 160 stamina. So, of course, 160 stamina is better than 50 stamina. So you buy all the leaves. This is actually probably one of the highest value things in the shop. The charms. This one's a, this one's a little bit dicey, right? First of all, the artifact charms, I think, are worth it. Unless you're swimming in artifact charms, these are one of the hardest things to farm. You can only get them from your guild shop or from doing um, Labyrinth. So I think you pick up the artifact charms. Same with these artifact charms, worth getting. The equipment charms. Okay, let's do a little bit of math here, everybody. For 400 currency, you can get 20 charms, weapon charms, right? They can be used on anything. 20 weapon charms for 400 currency. 400 currency over here buys us 400 stamina. 400 stamina is enough stamina to farm eulogy for a saint like one and a half times, one and a quarter times, and on the average, you get 15 to 20 charms from farming eulogy for a saint. So it's kind of a push, charm-wise. It's kind of a push, except while farming eulogy for a saint, you also get a metric ton of gold. Now, the difference is these can be used on anything. The ones that drop from Eulogy are random, but I think you don't get these. I think you just get the stamina, and you go farm Eulogy for a Saint, and you will get basically the same amount of charms, and you will get a shit ton of gold. Like, we're talking seven digits worth of gold for the stamina you'd use. So same amount of charms, and you get the gold, and you can friendship farm while you run it in the background battle. So I would recommend against these. These charms, okay, three white charms is equivalent to one purple charm. So for 200 stamina, you can buy it twice. So again, for 400 currency, you're going to get 20, or sorry, for 400 currency, you're going to get 10 of these charms, which is equivalent in value to 30 of these charms. So this is very, very close, maybe a little bit more charm than you would get out of the stamina in Eulogy for a Saint. It's close. It's very, very similar. So you got to decide if slightly better charms is worth missing out on the friendship farming and the gold you get from Eulogy. If charms are more of an issue for you than gold, then you pick up, pick these up. If charms and gold are about equal issue, I think you skip both of these and you just go straight into Eulogy. The uh, accessory charms, this one is going to be a personal decision. If you are able to do the Euphine Labyrinth, and I'll have a link in the description of this video to that video. If you're able to do the Euphine Labyrinth for free, you can get way, way more charms than... than the roughly, uh, what, 20 and 30, the, the roughly 50 charms you get here. Just doing one entry into the Euphine Labyrinth, you'll be able to buy that many uh, charms straight up, and it doesn't cost any stamina at all. But it does take about an hour of time to do it. So you're talking about sucking an hour of your life away <laughs> to do that. It's something you can have up in the side, something you can do off, you know, on the side screen while you're working on other projects, while you're watching TV, while you're doing pretty much anything else. But there is a way to farm these that doesn't cost stamina and um, that makes these lower value if you don't mind doing the Euphine Labyrinth. If you think doing the Euphine Labyrinth is one of the most painful, god-awful experiences of your life and you would rather like hit yourself in the groin with a rock than do the Euphine Labyrinth, then buy these. They are very, very worth it in that case. But if you don't mind and you do the Euphine Labyrinth, you will have plenty of ancient coins and these are totally not worth it. So that is a personal choice. For me, I'm not buying them because I do the Euphine Labyrinth and I never have an issue ever with accessory charms because I do that two or three times a month. I'll just spend an hour of time while I'm at work, have it up on the side screen, occasionally look over, push a button, go back, do more work, look up, push a button. And I never have to worry about accessory charms again. Rings and necks are always maxed out. But uh, if you don't do that, if that's not your jam, good choice to pick these up. And whether or not you get gold over stamina, I mean, please, don't get gold over stamina.
<laughs> uh, one run of Wyvern will pay out about 35,000 gold. One run of Eulogy for a, a Saint will pay out about 60, 70,000 gold, I think, by the time you, you, you trade in the stigma and everything. And you get the other benefits. Gold is just straight up cash in hand if you need it immediately, but the stamina is always going to be better than the gold because you'll be able to farm similar amount of gold and other things. So, one more time for the people in the back. Definitely get it. If you're relatively new, you don't have all the units, go ahead and pick it up. Otherwise, probably skip. Definitely get it. Definitely skip. Farming unrecorded is better. Probably skip unless you have an immediate need for it. Definitely get it. Best value on the list. Uh, if you've got Eulogy for a Saint unlocked, this is better value than Eulogy for Charms, but you miss out on the gold. I would probably still lean towards farming Eulogy, but if you're desperate for Charms, maybe pick that up. Definitely pick this up. Artifact Charms are brutal. I would skip this if you're doing Euphine Labyrinth. I would pick this up if you're not doing the Euphine Labyrinth. Definitely skip this if you've got Eulogy for a Saint unlocked. Definitely skip this if you're doing the Euphine Labyrinth. If you're not doing the Euphine Labyrinth, pick it up. Definitely pick this up. Hard skip this, just farm Eulogy or Unrecorded. Hard skip this, just farm Unrecorded. Um, probably pick this up. It's, you know, part of the gotcha. It's what gets you your four star and five stars, especially with new ones. Probably pick this up. It's gotcha driven. If you've got every unit in the game, you might consider the stamina for building the gear for the units you got more valuable than the chances at dupes or imprints. But hey, new ML4s and 5s come out. Kind of nice to save those up. And this, I think, is very, very worth it because even if you um, don't get something you want, 8 powder is pretty significant amount of powder. So I would get that. So hope that helps you guys out. That's my recommendations for this. I really want you to consider the value of 50 stamina compared to some of the garbage that's in here that just isn't worth picking up. Everybody clear? Any questions? Let me know. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer it.